So, uh, hello everybody. I am Dr. Mark Arazi. And first of all, I would like to thank uh, Debra Davis, Dr. Debra Davis and her team, uh, Sarina and Theodora, to invite me to, uh, uh, to speak uh, in Jackson Hall uh, about the phone gate scandal. As a French physician, uh, I am deeply concerned since 15 years uh, about the possible effect of the radio frequency and health. I am also uh, the parents of a teenage girl. In America, you, re you refer to the Volkswagen diesel test scandal when computers were connected to the engine exhaust, they showed a false reading. In Europe, we refer to this as dieselgate, because the test system was bogus. Now, we have a new scandal that I want to talk about with you today that is called phone gate. It is, this is because the test system for phones was set up, basically, the test system in Europe relies on a test distance that in the past has been between 15 to 25 millimeters about there, about three heights for American to about one inch. What I want to tell you today was released the 1st June of 2017. So I'm happy to share with you today information about this testing that has made news all over the world. You can see that there is uh, important French media, but now in Europe you have information in Switzerland, in Belgium, in Sweden, and many and many countries. And you can see also that we have an information now to in Jackson or Planet. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, next. Yeah. In this uh, short video, you will see how we measure cell phone radiation for the body and brain. Monterey is from a March 2017 of the Canadian CBC Net News report that shows how cell phones are tested with a distance between the phone and the body using FCC approved test lab. USA and Canada regulation allow the measurement to be made 5 to 25 millimeters, that is one height to one inch away from the body. This document in France, we have a government agency that has been testing phone next to the body. After some pressure, we have recently had this result released and they clearly show that most phones, 9 out of 10, exceed current test limit by 3 times. Next. And you can see here, example, that when phones uh, when phones are tested at some distance of the body, so here, okay, you see that uh, it is one by one, one by kilo, zero, zero point three, zero point nine, and for Nokia, zero point eight, and uh, they all fall under the, the European test limit of two one by kilo. You have it here. Uh, it, there is no M. <laughs> so, it's, uh, so, but when phones are tested directly next to the body, as when we keep it in your pocket or in your hand, okay, then they exceed the European uh, test limit, and you can see more than three times. For uh, Polaroid Pro, you have 7.42. For an HTC, you have 7.18. Uh, 
And uh, for Apple iPhone 5C, I suppose you, there is some here, uh, you, you have 3.11, one by kilo. If these numbers were converted to the US test limit of 1.6 watt by kilo, Professor Um Gandhi, <coughs> who you work with, is one of the originators of the test limit 30 years ago. He said that this number will be more than doubled if using the U US test limit. So for example, this one is going to be 14. This one is, go is going to be six. Okay, and uh, I <laughs> you see that here is, it has not been tested by the agency, uh, the French agency. We don't understand why. So uh, to see uh, the full list of European measurement, go to EHT website or, if you like French, on my blog. <laughs> uh, but uh, you will have more than 200 tests. So uh, to finish, uh, in June 2016, the new European directive issued to reduce separation distance in testing to a few millimeters, but it's inadequate. However, and it's the most important, we need all cell phones tested at body contact position for all body parts, and testing needs to include children. We are putting all of our children at risk by exposing them to microwave radiation of cell phones that has never been tested for safety. Thank you.